In 1905, the imperial family of the Qing dynasty decided to build a railway from Beijing to Zhang Jiakou in North China. The decision was marked by Western powers as saying that the Chinese engineer who can build the Beijing Zhang Jiakou Railway has not been born yet. Zhang Tianyou, a Yale graduate, had been appointed as chief designer of the Beijing Zhang Jiakou Rail. After four years of hard work, the railway was completed in 1909 with a speed of 35 kilometers per hour. 当时, 他创造性地设计出人字形铁路，通过延长距离，顺利解决了光沟段、坡度大、修路难的问题。1909年9月，京张铁路全线完工，时速35公里，改变了我们中国人不能自建铁路的历史。In year 2019, the Beijing Zhangjiakou high-speed railway went into operation with a design speed of 350 kilometers per hour. It takes about one hour to travel from Beijing to Zhang Jiakou, the co-host city of the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. Jinzhang Gaotie, Qianchen 174公里,是我国首条采用自主研发的白斗卫星导航系统的智能化高速铁路,实现了时速350公里自动驾驶,可以说,Jinzhang in January 2021, Chinese President Xi Jinping took the Beijing Zhang Jiakou high speed train to Zhang Jiakou City during his inspection tour. He underlined that the high speed rail is a successful demonstration of China's independent innovation. He said that China's high speed rail has undergone a process from introduction, digestion, absorption, and re innovation to independent innovation and is now a world leader. China's high-speed rail has been developing fast. China has the world's largest and the most advanced high-speed rail network and a world-leading system of proprietary technologies now. In 2020, in December 2019, the Chengdu Guiyang High Speed Railway has been put into operation. It has greatly helped the impoverished Bijie city get rid of poverty, as it only takes one hour to arrive in Guiyang, the capital city of Guizhou province. And it takes two hours from Bijie to Chengdu, the capital city of Sichuan province. Gaotie开通的话，出行的话是很方便的。就是说，也给我们收香古镇这边带来了游客这些。我国高铁的长工实践也在世界范围内产生积极影响，有力推动了我国铁路标准走出去。目前，我国与俄罗斯等二十一个